Hello everyone, and welcome back. Alright, well, um, I didn't have much time to pick locks this weekend, so I'm going for three in a row tonight. Um, again, I reached into the locks that Bill Bacardi sent me, and again, my friend, thank you for all the locks. This time I pulled out one that is pinned by Pick Me 1977 I haven't picked one of his locks in a while, and they're always fun to pick. Um, and this one here he calls Whoops. <laughs> so we're going to see what Whoops is all about. Um, it is a quick set keyway, so we'll, we'll see if we get in it, and we'll, um, take a look and see what he put inside of this lock. So hopefully we won't get too many whoops. Ooh, that's a whoops already. Look at that. There's a ton of play in this lock. Here, let me zoom this up. Yeah, there is a lot of play in this lock. Almost looks like we have a false set in reverse already. I think I'm going to pick this one in reverse. I haven't picked one in reverse in a while either. Um, I think I'll go with the Atala. Work off that ledge. Alright, let's see what we have. Okay, pin one is binding. I'm getting some counter off them too. Okay, I think I got them. Five, I think. I'll leave him alone for a minute. Pin two. Ooh, so you get for light tension. Counter here for four. Try to wiggle him in there. Again. We've got light tension. I think we dropped one. Okay, I think I got him again. Okay, I think I got him. We dropped one again. Oof. Come on, stay in there. Pin two. I like touch just did not want to stay in there. Alright. I don't think I lost anything yet, though. <laughs> We're open on three. Whew! Could have lost something, though. Alright, well, let's see what Pickney put inside this lock for us. We are open. Alright. Oh, get back here. Let's zoom us out. Alright, let me grab my penny tray. And I have been unmumming the keys lately, so we are going to unmummy this one too. Um, grab my knife. I'm gonna have to cut this one off. Yep. I'll just mummy them back up when I send them back out. But I'm always interested in what the bidding looks like too, so. And this is not coming off too easy. Alright, let's see what we got here for a key. Come on. Alright, that's the bidding on the key. It's got a pretty decent bidding. Yeah, let's check it out. It does work very smooth. 
no hang ups at all. Alright, let's get this cover off and let's see what he's put inside of here for us. Yeah, I haven't had much time this weekend. I had my grandson all weekend. And of course we had um, Easter. I hope everybody had a good Easter. Um, I did. Um, very enjoyable with my grandson. We did the Easter egg hunt. We did the whole nine yards. He's only, um, well, he's about three and a half. All right. I made a few challenge locks on Saturday when I had some time. And, uh, yeah, I haven't had much time to, uh, actually pick locks. So, I figured I'd pick a few of them when I got home tonight. I get the shim in here. Alright, we're about... Oh, we're at least halfway in there. We'll give that a shot. All right, no problem. All right, five pinner. Okay, we can see some deep spools there. They're all in there, they're all working. And they're all pretty low, um, below the shear line, so everything pretty much had to be picked. All right, well, let's see what we got here. All right, pin one. We have a spool with some serrations in the middle of it, looks like. We have a serrated in two. I have a very deep spool in three. Four, we have a double serrated, deep serrations, and five, uh, double spool. And, well, we can see chambers 1, 2, 4, and 5 are threaded. Nothing done to uh, 3. Alright, let's see what we have up here. Look that tape. Okay. Pin 1, we have a spool. A nice sharp edge. A steel spring. Oh, I can see some threading in that one too. So he's done some work up here. It looks like we have a drunken spool. Oh, that went in chamber one. Looks like we have a looks like we have a drunken spool in two. I haven't seen one of those in a while in a lock. Um, and a brass spring. We have a very sharp T-pin here in three. And a spring that does not want to come out. Ooh. Where did that go? Uh, I think that one landed on the floor. That one had a wafer too. Let me see if I can find that pin. Look for that in a minute here. Hold on, let me. Let's take out number five. We have a spoolish serrated type of deal in five. All right, let me see if I can find that spring in four or that pin. Oh, here it is. It's another, um, another drunken spool there in four. Let me see if I could get a spring out of three. Very tight, and it's a double spring. That's why it wouldn't come out of there. It's got a double wound up spring here in three. All right, looks like we have threading in five. Let me see if I get a light on this. Oh, that one ain't gonna work. Alright, so we have threading in five and one. Yeah, one and five. 
All right, let's have a look at these pins. All right. Okay, we have a spoolish serrated here in one. Then we have a serrated here in two. A very deep, long spool here in three. Um, a serrated here in four, deep serrations. And a double spool here in uh, key pin five. And then up here we have a spool with a sharp edge on the top here in one. Then we have a drunken spool in two, a T pin in three, another drunken spool in four, and a um, kind of a spool, but you can see where he's got a two part there stepped down. It's a double spool actually. And this back spool's got another ledge here. Guess he, I guess you wouldn't call that a wedding cake type of spool, but it's got that ledge there. Then we have a uh, steel spring in one, copper or brass here in two, then a double spring here in three, another um, copper or brass type here in four, and another steel spring in five. But yeah, another fun lock from Pick Me 1977. And uh, thank you again, Bill, for sending me this lock. I really appreciate that. Yeah, guys. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, comment below. And yeah, everyone, please be safe and stay legal. Thanks, guys. Bye.